How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. I'm Kels Prime and today we have a bit of news to get through. We had a live stream and so I've taken the important things from there and I'm going to pretty much deliver it here. We've also had a bit of information over the last couple days so with that said let's put it all together and let's get on with the video. Before I get into that I am doing a giveaway so if you want to be in with a chance of winning a copy of Anthem simply click on the link in the description below or in the pinned comment in the comment section below. Good luck and now on to the video. So if you haven't been living under a rock, you will have heard that Neil Blomkamp, the director for District 9, I Am Chappie, Elysium, some great movies there, was basically doing a live action skit or a live action short action movie of Anthem. Earlier yesterday, he finally released a trailer of what we can expect and on the 14th today, he will be releasing the premiere. The link to the YouTube video is in the description below. Make sure to check it out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be awesome. The trailer looks awesome and honestly, Neil Blamkop is one of the few directors that I really like. District 9 was amazing, I Am Chappie was amazing and I really enjoyed Elysium as well. So I do hope this is going to be great and who knows, maybe it might actually turn into a movie one day. With that said, let's check out the trailer. swims through your mind. Pretty awesome stuff, right? I bet you can't wait for the actual premiere, right? Well, make sure to check that link and uh, be prepared to be amazed. So, we are finally being introduced to the faction's quest system and what they showed on stream was the level 3 Arcanist. Here we see blueprints, which are now renamed to sigils, but essentially they're just blueprints. You'll see that you'll have a quest, you can pick it up, you have a faction meter, and this is one of the ways you pretty much earn your blueprints. There are other stuff you can earn here, as you can see, but essentially this is our first insight into it. It looks pretty cool, and I can't wait to dive in and see exactly what they entail. Which faction will you be following? Let me know in the comment section below. Something in note in regards to the blueprints, or sigils as they're now called, is that masterworks and legendaries are not in the plentiful supply, but there is enough there to keep people busy. They do want you to go out into the open world and farm for this stuff. Anything below masterworks and legendary will be available for every weapon, but once it comes to masterworks and legendary, not every weapon will be available and this is solely done for the purpose of getting you out there and not just relying on these blueprints because once you get a blueprint or a sigil as it's called you pretty much are done with that weapon and you don't have to go farm it again you could just continuously recreate it and it will recreate at the level you're on i think this is fine it means that you can't just sit on your laurels and you can't just create the best weapons and abilities in the game you do have to go farm it and put the effort in to get it i think that's fine they next showcased some quality of life updates and these were at the time mainly for the PC. They gave you the ability to scroll between the menus with E and Q I believe it was. They've added a HDR. They've allowed you to reduce the camera shake from 100% to zero from those that were suffering from motion sickness. So they are really listening to every input that you give. So get onto Reddit, get onto Twitter, get onto their official forums. And if you do have any feedback, give it to them because as you can see here these quality of life changes came from your feedback we can now sprint in Fort Tarsus again this is something that came from your feedback our feedback so the more feedback we give the better we shape Anthem the field of view which was a really hot topic sadly won't be in the game on the 22nd of February however it is literally top priority for them to get that in as soon as possible so expect that to come in as soon as possible they brushed on the Colossus and agreed with the community that if you did get the components and the correct gear, the Colossus was in a good place. And I totally agree with this. This is something that I said about the Colossus. Once you've geared it up and got a couple of components, it really does sit in a sweet spot. However, as a vanilla javelin, it's pretty underperforming and it really doesn't hold up to the other three javelins. Well, this is now being changed. It's not clear if it will be ready for the 15th, but it definitely will be for the 22nd. It's having health scaling and shield scaling increased. This won't be at the end game level. It'll pretty much be aiming at where you start the game to where you get about halfway through the story. 
and then by that point you should be picking up components anyway so the scaling will go down. It should help put the Colossus into the same bracket as everything else. Another question asked live on stream was if Anthem will support SLI gaming. Wish the answer was yes. SLI gaming will be supported but it will be after launch. It likely won't be on the 22nd but this is something that they're adding in as soon as possible. At the end of the stream they decided to go over the roadmap and they looked at Act 1 with the free updates. They've confirmed that not every act will have free updates, some can have 4, 5, generally they want to have at least 3 updates, but they won't always follow this system. The Evolving Worlds update will be a narrative that takes place, it will introduce new experiences, it will bring mini events like the one we saw in the demo with the titans or they could do other stuff that will introduce new things in a free play environment to bring new events to you. They've also hinted at subtle little things that long time players will notice and appreciate and actually benefit from compared to new players. They're looking to reward, incentivize people to continue playing. The evolving world will pretty much be as it says evolving the world as you play during that first update. Stronger Together will be more social interaction and competition, as well as the introduction of guilds. So they're looking to bring in the leaderboards and bring in new ways of socializing. They have hinted at other forms of socializing and one of the things that was put forward to them, which they really liked the idea of, was like a social hub for your guild, much like what Warframe does. They really like this idea, so hopefully this is something that we can see in the future. But they did say that there are big and small ideas that are currently playing around. The Stronger Together is essentially for these sort of things. With Act 1, we will be seeing more social interaction, more social awareness between the players, and this is coming in the form of leaderboards and guilds. Finally, they talked about Cataclysms, and this, now confirmed without a shadow of doubt, is basically the aspirational raid content. This is the content that you'll be setting aside with your friends on certain evenings to sit down and tackle. It will be accessible to everyone because it will be based on difficulty settings, but the highest difficulty settings will reward the best reward, so it will be accessible for casual players and have something for the hardcore players. Those that do complete the cataclysms will also be rewarded with loot that should only be available from the cataclysm. Now I say this because in a previous tweet about a month ago, either Ben Irving or Mike Gamble said, those that complete this aspirational content will stand out from everyone else. So that's telling me clearly that this is basically going to give you abilities and gear that is not accessible anywhere else. And well that's pretty much all there is for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, it has been a really short one, there's not been much in terms of news in the world of Anthem. This Friday is early access, so if you do have EA Premiere or EA Basics Origins with PC, you can get started. If you have EA Access on the Xbox One, you can dive in on the on Friday. But if you are on the PS4, you do not have early access. And this is simply because the EA Access program or the Premiere program is not available on the PS4. PlayStation 4 players will gain access to Anthem on the 22nd of February at the global launch. Hopefully one day we'll see EA Access on the PlayStation platform, so with future releases, everyone will be on a level playing field. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, we're at 3,500 subs now, let's see if we can get to 5,000 subs before February the 22nd. That would be amazing. So until the next video, remain legend.